Salutations, I'm Rob Chappers and welcome to Chappers TV, coming to you from the future in the year 2000. Today I consume this thing. Today I had an absolutely wonderful breakfast of yoghurt, blueberries and strawberries. And then a giant chicken burger with jalapenos and mayonnaise and french fries covered in rosemary salt. <laughs> <laughs> The question on everybody's lips is, what is Chappers Choice? And today, Chappers Choice is this absolutely ridiculous Wood Library PRS guitar, which I've purchased for my son. You see, I realised that although I own a guitar company, and of course I'm hoping that my son will want to play guitar one day, he's bound to have loads and loads and loads of Chapman guitars, and I think it's really healthy and really good for guitar players to enjoy guitars of all different brands, creeds, nationalities, and so I thought I'd get Theo this ridiculous uh, wood library, which of course I will have to look after and, and cherish and play whilst he is merely an infant. And uh, that was a really interesting call. <laughs> and then when he's old enough, I'm just going to go, here you go, and hopefully he'll enjoy it and uh, learn to play some cool tunes on it. I don't know, I really like it. Let me run you down its wonderful spec. Now this is a wood library. It's a 594 uh, limited edition McCarty um, in charcoal cherry burst. They only made 10 of these worldwide and um, obviously Captain Lee and Anderton's did me a really good deal. Um, and it is the first guitar I've ever purchased my son. It does come with a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, um, which isn't problematic because it comes with all the CITES, paperwork, notificationary stuff, so that if he ever becomes an international touring artist, he can take it across borders, if there are borders, by the time my son is 18. Yeah, I think it's an absolutely stunning uh, example of a PRS guitar. I'm a big fan of PRS guitars, as I am Gibson, Fender, ESP. I just love guitars in general. Um, really nice attentions to detail and the pickups say things on them which makes them good. Essentially it's just a great guitar and I'm really happy that I got this for Theo. This actually is the bedroom that I'm working on for him right now, um, although he will be sleeping amongst the majority of the guitars that I leave at my house. And of course, Big Trouble in Little China characters. This is the case that it comes in, which of course is spectacular. And I'll give you a touch of the case pawn. Mm. Look at that. Insane. So happy 18th birthday, Theo. Hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as I will for the next 18 years. <laughs> Lee. Today's musical inspiration is Blue on Black by Kenny Wayne Shepherd. If you haven't listened to Blue on Black by Kenny Wayne Shepherd, get your ears out of your head, clean them, and prepare them for a sonic time of enjoyment and listen to the tune. Basically, it's a fantastic tune. Kenny Wayne Shepherd uh, absolutely shows you who's boss on the guitar playing that kind of tings. You know, it's him and Philip Sace, man. Him and Philip Sace doing that thing really good with some feels. 
The feels are strong. I listened to it for the first time when I went to live in Canada. I'm on a Canadian tip with my musical influences at the moment. And um, just got into a friend's car, he put it on and I went, what's that? And he went, that's Blue and Black by Kenny Wayne Shepherd," And it dramatically altered the way that I play guitar from there on. That's pretty much all I've got to say. You guys take it easy. Chap is considerably out.